In this video, we'll be finding the second derivative implicitly. We're given that x squared plus y squared is 25, and we're asked to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. So our first derivative, the derivative of this first term is 2x. The derivative of the second term is 2y, and then times dy dx. And the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we need to uh, solve for dy dx. So let's subtract 2x from both sides. So cancel. We have 2y dy dx equals negative 2x. Divide both sides by 2y. And so cancel. And I have dy dx is equal to a negative x over y. Now for our second derivative, we'll need to use the quotient rule. on our first derivative. So our second derivative is equal to, and our bottom is the square of this denominator. And then we start up here with the denominator. So we have y times the derivative of the numerator, which is just negative 1 subtract the numerator times the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, but we have to multiply by dy dx. Now, not only do we need to do some simplifying here, but we need to substitute dy dx is a negative x over y. So we'll do that also. Um, my first term, y times negative 1, is a negative y. And then these two minuses are a plus. And then x times, and then in place of dy dx, I'll put in negative x over y. And in the bottom, I have a y squared. I have a complex fraction here, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by y. So my second derivative with respect to x is when I distribute here, I get a negative y squared. And this y cancels with this one, and I have negative x squared. And in the bottom, I have a y cubed. Now this needs to be simplified a little bit more. I can see that I have a negative in both of these terms. So my second derivative is a negative y squared plus x squared, and that's over y cubed. Now, all the way back at the beginning, we are given that x squared plus y squared is 25. So this part of my answer, I can substitute in 25. So my second derivative is negative from here, 25 over y cubed. 